One of the best things a person can do to assure their engine longevity is to keep their engine temperatures within a normal range. 380 degrees Fahrenheit on the hottest cylinder is the magic number. So we want to try to constantly keep our temperatures about 380 Fahrenheit or below on that hottest cylinder. And to do that assures us of, of really good cylinder longevity. You know, you don't have to freak out if it hits 390 or 400, it's okay. But 380 is really the magic number. And there's two ways to, to achieve that in cruise. And that's either with fuel, which cools it, or with the cow flaps. Now some people that come here and pick up their airplanes don't have a lot of experience with cow flaps. And really it's, it, it's, it's fairly easy. The cow flaps can be really one of two positions and, and any intermediate position is okay. But basically if you close the cow flap off, it limits the cooling air coming in through the air inlets. So consequently the engine's going to run hotter because it's got less cooling air to cool it down. With them wide open, it lets more air through, cools the engine down better. So theoretically, if you're in cruise, you could close them all the way, and closing them all the way and restricting that airflow is going to require you to burn a little more fuel. On the other hand, you can open them all the way up, let the maximum amount of airflow come through that engine to cool it, and by doing that, you can lean it out a little bit more. Now usually, on, especially on the cat mice with the big tires, I'll kind of hit an intermediate half cow flap open position, which kind of splits the difference. With the cow flaps all the way open, normally we'll lose about maybe three or four knots of airspeed. With them closed, you know, it, it picks up a little speed, but at the same time, it really warms the engine up a bunch. So consequently, in flight, always think in terms of 380 degrees Fahrenheit on your hottest cylinder. Cow flaps can be open or closed or an intermediate position, but you really want to keep those temperatures at 380 or below for maximum cylinder longevity.